slippers? What you reading? Uh, Lawn and Garden Tractor Magazine. It's, it's pretty awesome. They got a lot of cool stuff in here. That's a very fine magazine. Hey, Grass Rats, if you're into vintage lawn and garden tractors, you need to subscribe to that magazine. Go to lagtmag.com and get a subscription. They'll send that magazine right to your door, and they ship internationally. So you grass rats overseas, you can get that magazine. Check it out and get yours today. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. They got a ride master in this one. Hey, what's up with you? Something looks different about you. I don't know. I, I just can't put my finger on it. What are you talking about? I haven't done anything different. Are you sure? Did you lose another tooth? No, I didn't lose a tooth. Oh, well, uh, what about maybe your goatee? Did you dye it a lighter shade of gray? No, I didn't dye my beard. Oh, well, guess what? I know what it is now. You got a new hat. That's what it is. <laughs> no, I didn't get a new hat. This is the same hat. But I did get my hair done. Hey, I got a question. Do you think you can make an engine run in reverse? Sure. I can make a two-cycle engine run in reverse. You know what? I can make everything reverse. Watch. How are you doing this? Come on, slippers. Let's go in the shop and I'll show you. Turn it back, Terrell. I don't like this. I, I hate that everything's all backwards. I, I can't read anything. I don't even know what your shirt says anymore. All right, come on, change it back. All right, all right. Uh, uh, I'll change it back. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, everything back to normal. Uh, thank you. So, uh, you still gonna make that engine go reverse? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. All right, well. Let's get down to it. Okay, we will. Sit. Pterodactyl here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take a two-stroke or a two-cycle engine, and I'm gonna make it run the opposite way. I'm gonna make it go in reverse. And the prime candidate for doing that is this here two-stroke to come -ish engine that's in this snow thrower. So the first thing I gotta do is yank the engine out of this snow blower, and then I'm gonna explain to you how I'm gonna make it run in, in reverse. So this is a Tacumish two-stroke HSK845. There's the model number right there. And the reason I chose this engine is because to make this thing run backwards, it's all in the ignition, and this has got an external coil on it. So what I'm basically going to have to do is take the coil off and flip it around, and then just start it the opposite way. That's why I took the recoil off, because I'm going to take this rope, and I'll be able to wrap it around here so I can pull it the other way. Because a regular recoil is going to make it go one way. I need to spin it the opposite way. So the first thing we're going to have to do is make some kind of mounts so I can mount this thing to the bench. So I got me some angle brackets here, which I'll have to drill some holes in them, and I'll mount it to here, and then we'll mount it to the workbench. All right, I got my little brackets mounted on there. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull the blower shroud off so we can get to the to the coil. And there's the coil. So maybe the first thing I should do is verify that the engine runs. So let me bolt it to the bench. And then we'll shoot a little helper spray in there and show you that it's going to run forward. So here's the curvature of the fin. So this is the way it goes forward. So we're just verifying that the engine runs.
baby. Don't look like a doggy. I would just hang it up. Let me give it a good shot. Now, of course, if I try to spin it back the opposite way, it's not going to run. That's because we're not going to have any spark. So I'm going to go ahead, take the plug out. To make it safe. And I'm going to get my spark tester. Put it like this so we can see it. And let me get a socket. And I'm going to spin it forward. See? Oh, I want to use a drill. I don't want to use an impact. Now, it's not a good idea to try to start engines using a drill. You could get seriously hurt. But we're not trying to start it. We're just verifying for spark. See, it's sparking. Now when I reverse it to go the opposite way, see, we got no spark. So if I take the coil off and flip it around, it should spark. And then I should be able to start it. Now, for those of you who don't know, there's a lot of you that do know, back in the day, Yamaha and I think AMF made golf carts and they were two stroke golf carts. And in order to get it to go forward and reverse is you would flip a switch and it would run the engine backwards and it would change the spark on it and it would run, that's how you would go backwards. It would run the engine backwards to make the golf cart go in reverse. And then when you flip the switch the other way, it would go forward. Because they used a two stroke engine so they could run it forward and reverse. And it was all in the ignition. So if we take this coil off and spin it around, we'll quickly find out that, uh oh, it's not gonna work. You know why? because they've offset the screw holes. Now they did that on purpose. So that way in case you had to replace the coil, the coil only goes on one way. They made it idiot proof. So by flipping it around this way, I can't get the screws in there. See, they won't work. This one's not gonna line up. So, what I need to do is, this is where it's grounded. I'm gonna drill out those little welds that are holding that to there. And then I'm gonna take the coil and I'm gonna stick it in a vise. And if I tap on here, I should be able to knock this out. screwdriver here. I gotta break these loose. There we go. Now I'm gonna go over to the vise and I'm gonna knock this out. There's your dinner. Okay, now before I flipped everything around, I took the laminates in my blast cabinet and I kind of sandblasted them to clean it up, get that rust off. And then I soldered a wire to it, a ground wire, because you know I'm not gonna be able to weld it back to the laminates, so I just ran a separate ground wire. And another issue I ran into when I was fitting it on there is because it is ring gear, 
I could have probably just cut the ring gear off, but I don't want to have to do that. So this sticks out a little bit here, and it was rubbing on the ring gear. So I had to file that down a little bit. Now I didn't get into the coil to where the windings are. But now I can mount this. So now we're now we're backwards. So now my screws will go in. And then I'll set the air gap. And then I need to hook up an auxiliary fuel tank. Oh, gotta hook the ground wire up. So I'll get my ten thousands. And I'll set the air gap. And then we'll spin it backwards and show you that it's going to spark now. So it's all in the ignition. Now you can do this on a points engine too, a Tecumish, as long as the ignition is a Tecumish. Because on some of the two stroke engines, it's got a cam lobe that opens and closes the points. You take that lobe off the crankshaft and you got to flip it around. And then when you spin it backwards, it'll do that. And sometimes you have to mess with the timing too. Sometimes you got to take the key out and you have to index the flywheel a little bit one way or another because it's not going to fire at the right time. But this engine, it should fire at the right time once I do this. So I shouldn't have to mess with the timing on it. Here's my 10. But I was fitting the coil up and in the save time I noticed it was hitting back there. So I just went ahead and kind of filed on that, hoping that I wasn't going to break through and damage the coil. And then I would have had to find another coil and I don't think I got one. Get that primer hose out of the way. All right. Where was that? Here it is. Hook my spark tester up. So now we want to spin it the opposite way because look at the way the fins are going. That's the way it would go forward. We want to go backwards. And we should have spark. Woo! Okay. So I'll put the blower shroud back on. We'll put the plug in and I'll have to take that gas tank out of that snow thrower and we'll rig it up real quick and we should be able to run this thing in reverse got the fuel tank hooked up I'm wrapping the rope on here backwards I'm getting a strong gas odor. Yeah. Oh yeah, hold the gas tank. Give that, pump that primer a few times. All right, here we go, fingers crossed. <sighs> Don't be scared, Slippies. It's not working. Remember when that guy was calling me Slippy? When I picked up that RJ that time? And there's your dinner, Slippy. That's your name, Slippy. Yeah, that's what you've been calling me. Got the key on? I got that kill wire in there. Might have been touching the ground. Ready? Give it a good shot there, Slippy. Oh, 
Og må sætte det til. It wants to fire. The timing's off. I may have to take the flywheel key out and move the flywheel. Ready? That carburetor might need a rebuild. Thing even getting gas the way that carburetor's angle. Hell yeah, looks like it. Ready? All right, I'm gonna pull the flywheel off and move it a little bit. It's fire. It's firing, but it's firing at the wrong time. I want to check that carb too. Okay, so I adjusted the timing. So I took the flywheel off, took the flywheel key out. And this is the mark where the key went into the shaft. So then I turned it about that much. Now there is an accurate way of doing it through the spark plug hole with a dial indicator so you can figure out you know, where it's gonna fire before top dead center. And then you do the same thing, you just figure out the opposite way. But I'm not going to do all that. I'm just doing this by eyeball just to see if it's going to work. So I moved it back that way. So now let's put this back on. Tighten it down. Because it's on a taper, so it's going to lock on there. Got it nice and tight. So now let's try it again. Let's try starting. All right, slippers. Slippers, where you at? You got to help me here, slippers. Push that primer a bunch of times. All right. How's Ready? That? Yep. a two-stroke engine run backwards you can also make a four-stroke engine run backwards because I saw Redbeard's garage did it but there's a lot more to it you got to put the carburetor on the exhaust side the exhaust on the carburetor side and all that kind of stuff but yeah you can make it run backwards and we just showed you I got it to run backwards and uh, my timing was pretty close there it started to run pretty good yeah just by doing it with an eyeball Hey, that crazy eyeball that I got going on, yeah, I eyeballed it. So there you have it. Took a two stroker, two smoker. He did it, that's awesome. And made it run backwards. So subscribe to this YouTube channel, Terrell Fixes All. I'm Terrell. I'm going backwards. Buy some of our merchandise, like this beautiful shirt that I'm wearing now. Wouldn't this look good on you? Spark plug necklace too. Hats, we have it all. Check it out. Follow me with your engines running backwards on Facebook and Instagram. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! What? Are you okay? You need to go to the veterinarian? No, I'm good. <laughs>